Hi, my name is Allie. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. If you've never been to my channel before, I make mommy and lifestyle videos and kind of whatever random stuff I come up with. And today my son August is with us while we film this video. So you may hear little baby coos and stuff in the background. But I wanted to share with you how to make my DIY advent calendar. And sorry if the lighting kind of changes and gets dark. It's really gloomy. It's only like 2 p.m. here, but it's already getting dark and it's gloomy. So I'm working with the lighting I have. So today I want to share with you how to make a DIY advent calendar using muffin tins. I made this advent calendar last year and my kids loved it. And so I was going to make it again this year and I thought I would show you how to do it. I'm pretty sure I saw the idea on Pinterest. I'm pretty sure by feel like it was using like two smaller muffin tins but we actually had a 24 muffin tin which works out perfect because you need 24 days to make the advent calendar. Now one of the reasons I do a homemade advent calendar is because my son Oliver is dairy free and it's really hard to find dairy free advent calendars that like have a little treat each day. They always have chocolate in them or at least the cheap ones have chocolate or you gotta pay a lot of money and it's toys and stuff and not necessarily like a little treat. And so I decided I'd make my own. The other reason I like to make an advent calendar is because me and my family are Christians and we celebrate Christmas because we're celebrating the birth of Christ. And I really wanted to incorporate each and every day as we go through the advent calendar, not just opening it to get a little treat, but opening it and reading scriptures that lead up to the birth of Christ and going through it with our children and explaining to them why we celebrate Christmas. Whenever I ask my kids, why do we celebrate Christmas? They always go, it's Jesus' birthday. And I love being able to just each and every day sit down with them and share the story of the birth of Christ and being able to have a little fun tree and something fun to do each day leading up to Christmas. The items you will need to make this advent calendar, and I'm being kicked <laughs> in the back by my son. The items you will need to make this calendar are a 24 count muffin tin, scissors, Christmasy colored paper, so reds, greens, that kind of stuff, blank paper to write the scriptures on to go in each day, and glue or tape, either one, markers, a pen, some kind of string or twine. I'm just using like a thick, almost like a jean material thread to tie up the advent calendar when I'm done. Lastly, candy. It was a bag of Skittles, Starburst, surprise candy. The reason I went with these is one, they're dairy free, but also I was trying to find candy that wouldn't get hard or go bad being in the advent calendar because some candies when they sit out by the time you get to the 24th day it's, it's hard and so I got Starburst because they're pre-wrapped and usually Skittles can sit around for quite a while before they get hard. Now before I show you how to make the advent calendar one other special thing I do is usually once or twice throughout the 24 days leading up to Christmas I do a special day and this year I'm going to be doing two special days and I usually do like either a little surprise gift, like last year we did like the little Thomas the Train blind bags, and I always do something different. So this year my kids love like golden coins or like pirate treasure coins. So I'm doing the gold coins for one of the special days. And for the other special day, I'm gonna do like a Christmas craft. And so I have these cute little crafts that are downstairs and I was too lazy to get them. And they're like building a gingerbread house little craft out of felt and a Christmas tree and some other stuff. That will be our second special day leading up to Christmas Day. Without further ado, explaining all of the things you will need to make this advent calendar, let's begin. You're going to see a cute baby right here doing this video. First, you're gonna need your muffin tin. Something round that you can use as a stencil to make the circles for the cutouts. And yes, this is a breast pump bottle, but it works. And so what you're going to do is you take your round thing, whether it's the lid of a cup or just something that has the round shape that's a little bit bigger than the actual muffin holes, and you just set it on here, and that's what you're going to use to trace to make the little circles that will cover each day of the advent calendar. Then it's colored paper. I'm going to use a light green, a red, and a dark green to make the circles for each day of the week. Now that I have all 24 of my circles drawn, I'm going 
take my scissors and cut out each one. And I'm going to cut slightly bigger than the circle to make sure it's big enough to cover all the holes. colored markers come in handy. printed it out and cut them out but I like doing it by hand it's fun making each one kind of unique and so now it's time to fill them if you're wondering where the baby went he's in my arms <laughs> fill it I have a bag of Skittles and a package of Starbursts now I have three kiddos who will be eating this because this little guy will not be eating it. And so I put enough in each hole to give each of the kids a little treat. But if you're doing it for just one kid, fill it for however much you want. Whether it's one kid, two kids, three kids, or more, you can just fill each hole for however much candy you want to give them. I need to leave two spots open for the special days and what I'm going to do is I'll put the scripture for that day in there and I'll also put a little note that will say what the surprise is or a little note that will tell them to go on a treasure hunt for their gold and now that all the candy is ready I'm going to write down the scriptures which I will link down below all the scriptures that I'm going to be using in each of the days and then I will add the treasure map to find the gold on this special day. I'll add the little special note that will tell what the special craft will be on this day. And then I attach on the numbers. like 
basic kids craft glue to add on all of the numbers. Last year I used hot glue and I thought it would work great and it ended up all popping off. And so this year I think I'm going to use a little bit we use a little bit of this glue right here and then put like a little bit of tape just to reinforce it so that we don't have the same thing that happened last year where it was popping off and the kids saw the candy. Mm -hmm. 